Hey, welcome to Magnus Drones. I'm Jim. Thanks for finding my channel. And if you're a subscriber, as always, I want to say thanks for uh, staying with me. Today, I want to do uh, an, another waypoint flight, uh, set up waypoints. Uh, this one, I want to do changing altitudes and uh, camera directions. Uh, there's a boat dock uh, just, oh, maybe a quarter mile away over here. And I thought we would fly over to that one and back and using waypoints. So the first thing I'll do is uh, is set it up. So let's get started. So I've got the drone started up. I've got 26 satellites. And uh, so let's go ahead and take off and start setting up our waypoints. I'm going to take it up over my head because I want this to be the first waypoint. And we'll turn it around and point it out over the water in the direction that we're going to fly. And up about 300 feet. We get up to about 350. There we go. So what I'll do first is I'll tap this little icon that's over the return to home icon on the left here. And you can see we open that up and uh, we can plan our waypoint flight. I'm going to use the C1 button to set my waypoints. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'll use the C1. And uh, my first waypoint is going to be directly over my head. Let's go ahead and move the uh, drone forward now. I'm going to take it out just over the water. And then we're going to drop the altitude down. There we go. So that's going to be my next waypoint. And I'm going to keep that altitude and let's just fly it out over the water. And you see that small peninsula on the screen and it's the boat dock that I want to get to is uh, right behind that. Luckily, I'm low enough because I've got an airplane coming up behind me. When I get to the little peninsula right in front of me here, I'm going to go ahead and raise the alt altitude. But I'm going to stop short. Set another, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to stop short. Set another waypoint because I wanted to maintain that altitude that I, I'm at right now up to this point and then do a more vertical climb in altitude. So we'll do that now. If I just flew to this point and climbed, it would do a gradual ascent out to that waypoint. I also want to point the camera down. There we go. All right, so at this point, I want to set another waypoint. 
Okay, just checking my airplanes in the area. So I'm going to move forward. And I've just set two waypoints, one at a low altitude, then climbing, and then set my next one at a higher altitude. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and descend. And from the higher altitude, it'll make a gradual descent to this next waypoint, which is going to be over here at this dock. I can look and see. I hope no one's out on the dock fishing. I don't want them to think that uh, I'm spying on them. Oh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's somebody there. Okay, so let's go ahead and climb. Let's uh, drop our camera down. They'll have fun with this. There we go. Do one more waypoint. And I better move over here just a little bit. I don't want to fly over them. So I'm setting my waypoints that the drone's going to fly autonomously once we set it in motion. I'll bring the camera up. We'll do... Point it out there. We'll do one more. Okay. So this one, the last one, next to the last one. I want to fly back home and lower the altitude kind of back where I came from. And we're just descending down to an altitude there at the peninsula one more time. So from there, we'll set this one waypoint. And then we're just going to fly low over the water, coming back. Have a little scenic return to home. What I'll do is when I get back in close, I'm going to go ahead and bring the altitude back up again. So one more, here's a waypoint. Let's go ahead and set this one. Now here, I want to climb. I don't need to climb too high. I can see the drone, no problem. And basically going to bring it home. Uh, one more waypoint, just for fun. And I think what I'll do is, 
often I'll do a return to home when it's done. I think in this case, I'm going to set it to where it just hovers. And because since it's right over my head, then I'll just land it. So the next step will be to set my global speed. I think we're going to do about uh, 20... Yeah, let's do 20 miles an hour. That's a that's a decent speed. At the end of the flight, I want it to hover. Uh, signal loss, I want it to return home. So I've got everything set up. Looks like the duration of the flight is going to be four minutes at that speed. Let's save this. Just do a quick save. Save. And it says waypoint flight saved. So now uh, I've got still got 28 minutes of battery. I only need four to do this flight. So let's get ourselves set up and let's go fly this. Open up the screen, hover, return to home if lost, 20 miles an hour. Let's go flying. I hit go. I see what it's going to do first is it's going to climb to the altitude I set for my first waypoint. <clears throat> this is a lot of fun to do. You just get creative. For me, this is a learning experience. I've been trying a lot of different things, so I'm always real excited to see if I can get it out and, and uh, set up some of these flights. So we're now starting our first waypoint. And it's on its way. There it goes. You see, it's coming down in altitude because I lowered it from its first waypoint. And I think I'd better stop it. Okay. There we go. All right. That was interesting. Um, I actually had to stop it because it came way down below where I wanted it to go. Now, was it because it was coming down over water? I really don't know. Maybe a little nervous. So that part of it didn't work. Uh, if I hit go, of course, it's going to come back and start over again. So I would consider this kind of a bust. I didn't like what it did. I didn't like the way that it came down. It actually came down way below the tree line. I was just glad that it didn't land in the water. That would have been a really bad day for me. So let's just bring it back and... Uh, Try another program and we'll uh, send it out again.